A bust of Napoleon sculpted out of marble sits tucked in a corner of the Hartley Dodge Memorial Building. Has been here for decades. Did you ever notice it before when you walked into this room? Quite frankly, no. We didn't. Always gave tours saying, we think that's a Rodin, but we're not sure, and then we you'd move on. Not anymore. This piece of art is now the talk of the town, thanks to this tenacious young lady, Mallory Mortolero. You felt like you kind of walked into some kind of magical little mystery story. You see, three years ago, the Hartley Dodge Foundation hired Mortolero to help catalog their photo collection. They also said, you know, we have some other artwork in there, and if you want to take a look, you're welcome to see if there's something worth researching. Boy, was there. Foundation President Nicholas Platt explains what happened in December of 2014. Mallory was walking around the building and she looked at this bust. She was feeling along the base trying to figure out what the providence of this marble bust was and her fingers ran across uh, something chiseled. Turned on her flashlight, the signature came into view. I thought if this was a real Rodin, surely somebody would have known and done something about it. There was no paperwork. There was absolutely no record that it had entered the building and let alone been sitting here in the corner for 85 years. There was a lot of skepticism at first, then it all came together. Geraldine Rockefeller Dodge donated all the antiquities here, including the French sculpture. For two years now, all that have known that this is actually a Rodin have kept as quiet as the statue itself. Once we found out, we knew we had to sit on that information because of the insurance and the security. You can finally tell the world. Yeah, it's true. It's been kind of that story you tell really close family and friends with that caveat of please don't tell anybody, but we have a Rodan. And it's been hiding in plain sight for decades. From Madison, New Jersey, Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News. Man, if that statue could talk. <laughs> <laughs> They've been sitting on this for two years. I would have put up like bars or something around right? it just to protect it. <laughs> Nobody knew. Amazing. It is valued at between four and twelve million dollars, but the foundation has no plans to sell. Yes, but the public is invited to a formal viewing the weekend of the 21st before it goes on loan to the Philadelphia Museum of Art.